to my channel to Alicia's Adult Me every Friday. Today we're going to do a flashback Friday because it's 2020. So I'm going to go back 10 years ago and just talk about my life and how I got here today. And I just think it's really interesting to go back and look at what you've been through and what you came to. Okay. So 10 years ago, I was a sophomore in high school. I was 15. I just moved to Kentucky like um, two years actually and I would like play volleyball um and I was like oh when I'm 24 25 I'm gonna be married have a kid 25 no kids okay <laughs> not married no ring okay it's okay now it's okay because it came real fast okay that's what I'm saying um I think I wanted to move to LA I wanted to be an actress I don't really want to be an actress anymore but I do still want to move to LA so some things um don't change I uh, loved to write when I was um, in high school and I read. I didn't read as much because I was like playing volleyball in school and different things like that. Um, but I really think that was cool. Over the 10 years, I felt like um, I've learned so much and I've grown. I mean, it's a new decade. And I just thought that it'd be cool to talk about all the things like that I've done in the 10 years and um just like reflecting back on it so i moved to kentucky and then that was my uh, sophomore year and then my junior year i moved to another school and i went to north and my junior year i actually um went to paris for a week because i there was like um, a french club and they was like who wants to go to paris i was like me didn't know no french no nothing but it's okay so i went to paris and then i graduated in 2013 um, then I went to University of Louisville, and my major changed like five, six, seven times. I went into like a pan African studies. Actually, I did go into pan African studies. So I went to the law school, but then I didn't even stay in pan African studies. And I went to communication. Then I went back to pan African studies. Then I went to sociology. Lord knows what I was doing, but I ended up minor in Pan African Studies, and um, I was thinking about doing Spanish and all that stuff like that. So undergrad was really a whirlwind of fun uh but i studied abroad in panama and i studied abroad in trinidad and um i was really involved and i liked being a part of the community i liked um mentoring and different things like that and i still feel like that's really a part of me and who i am today like giving back to the community and just helping to be in a um helping hand basically um i had a best friend uh 10 years ago actually and we still are friends today that's like one friend it's so hard when you like be in the military to connect and keep up with people when you move and stuff like that so um that's pretty cool and then i graduated in 2017 at uofl and then 2018 i went to get my master's i graduated 2019 and now it's 2020 so we're here today that's like the school you know the school debut of that um personally i felt like i was shy when i was younger so i feel like i came out of my shell i felt like i was outgoing but i still feel like i am shy um still to this day 10 years ago i don't know if i really would have done youtube i don't know if i really would have done podcasting and everything that i'm doing right now um so i think i really did come out of my shell i didn't know that i would probably be uh traveling going around the world and doing stuff like that um, I didn't know that I really liked to travel until I really kind of got in college when I was in high school. I didn't really travel that much, but I actually did um, go to Korea in seventh grade because my dad was in the military. But I didn't like think that I was going to be traveling around the world and having a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So it kind of grew as I got older and wanted to share my story. Um, I didn't know that I wanted to be a writer when I was younger. I thought I just liked it, but now I'm like, okay, like this is something I can do. Um, I really think that uh, the 10 years taught me like how to persevere, how to be resilient and just go after anything that I want to go after for. And those really um, happened in my later years, like in college and sticking up for myself and standing up for myself. Because in, um, like I said, in high school, I was like really like shy, quiet, reserved. I talked to people, but I really talked to that many people. But I think when I got to college, I like opened up and now I've opened up more. And so um, I just feel like I have a like a heart of giving and I just want to help people and see people achieve. Not everybody is like that. So I personally don't know who is not and who ain't like that. But yeah, I think um, also 10 years back, I felt like I don't know, like if I knew my purpose 
Um, I didn't know if I knew what I was passionate about. Now I do know the things that I'm passionate about. I'm still working on my purpose, you know? And so let's fast forward to 2020 and 2030. I want to be working for myself. I want my own businesses. I want my own land. I want to be able to create generational wealth, even though I don't have no generations after me. I'm a, I might be married. Okay, 35. My marriage with kids. We'll see how long I'll be on this YouTube uh, channel. See if y'all get to see that from me. But yeah, I just thought it'd be really cool to just talk about like the 10 years ago, thinking what you want, what you didn't want, and stuff like that. And I still want me a Range Rover in 10 years. That's not what I want 10 years ago. That's what I want now. Um, so I think over the 10 years, I've blossomed and I've been, um, been I came out of my comfort zone and stuff like that. I still feel like there's a lot of things that I can learn and grow and things that I can do. But yeah, if you like this Alicia's Adulting episode, let me know in the comments uh, what you thought you was going to do 10 years ago to what you're doing now and stuff like that. So... Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Bye.